What works faster than a calculator? A calcia now. <laughs> Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Very quick video today to hear your thoughts and what you think about it, but Amazon is starting to do a lot of different updates to their devices, especially being the Fire Stick Lite and soon to be the other devices when the updates rolled out. I don't know why I said out so aggressively then, I do apologise. <laughs> but obviously, this is the new update. If you haven't got this yet, you will get it eventually. And if I move across just a little bit, you're going to see there's a new live TV section or tab being added to the navigation bar. Now, I'm going to show you how it works, what you can do on it and things like that. But do comment down below your thoughts on this. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so these fast videos that I am making in the hope that somebody from Amazon or something may see it one day and look in the comments section about what you guys think when they add things like this. Now, in my opinion, I think they may be adding too many things to try and compete with the likes of Google TV and Android TV. They might think that they're doing you a favour by adding all these, but in my opinion, at the moment, it's stuff that you don't need, but it is using up a lot of resources. I have noticed the device is getting slower. So on all the other previous Fire Sticks, you used to go down the home screen and you'd find a live TV section here and it would say TV Guide. But I've just done an update on the 4K Fire Stick by going to Settings, down and across to My Fire TV, click on About, and it should say, well, it might say Install Updates or Check for Updates. There may not be an update for you, who knows? But if I go back home, what you're going to see is now on the Fire Stick 4K, we've actually got a live section at the top. And I will give credit where it's due, and I saw this from Lee TV, he has written an article about it on his website, so if you prefer to read it rather than listen to me... I will leave a link in the description down below. If I go across to live here, you're going to see it shows me all the official live TV apps, iPlay, iTV Hub. Obviously, dependent on location, the apps that are showing may be different. And then if I go down again, I've got Pluto TV installed. You're going to see it brings up a lot of that stuff. And then Prime Video Channels, which once again, which Amazon seem to love at the moment, is bringing you paid content. So it says add Prime Video Channels. And when if I go ahead and click on something, I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to ask me if I want to watch it with Discovery, get a seven-day free trial, obviously, then purchase it or buy episodes and things. So I don't think they're doing this as a way to help the end user. It's just a way to make more money. An interesting thing you do see at the top is a guide. Now, this would be awesome if you could integrate any app that you wanted. So apps that Amazon don't support... It'd be also if you could download those apps onto the device and add them into this section. If I click on guide, you're going to see it loads up. And all these channels here are from Pluto TV. They are free to watch. And it is a nice, I do like the section. I like how it's got the guide. I like how it shows you what's playing and what's coming next. But if I click on the context button, three line button, hamburger menu, whatever you want to call it on the Fire Stick remote. And I quickly just click on filter channels. And bearing in mind on this device, let me just get rid of me one second. What you are going to see is when I click on filter in the bottom right, I click on it once again so you can see it, you can only see Pluto TV. If I go back and I go to manage channels, I'm back again, <laughs> what you're going to see is all the channels are only from Pluto TV. Another reason why I think this would be awesome, if I get rid of me again, you can see, even when you're going through the guide, it's still showing a little window in the corner of the show or movie that you've just been watching. But what you do know, I've got, iPlayer installed, which has got a live TV section. I've also got Airy TV installed, which I did a video on previously. That's also in the Amazon store, and it's got loads of free live TV channels. You don't see that in the guide. And do let me know down below if you find other apps that work inside this guide. At the moment, it's literally, to me, you go to the live section, it shows you any live TV apps... So even the ones you haven't got installed, it's going to suggest you some. Pluto TV, which at the moment, for me, seems to be the only one that shows in that section. And then you've got Prime Video Channels, which are subscription-based, separate to your Prime membership or Prime subscription. And you've got to pay separately for them. And then at the bottom, you've got, once again, the guide. You've got favourites, parental controls, and you've got settings. And even though I've got some official free live TV apps that are supported by Amazon, it's still only showing, as you can see there, managed channels, 
Pluto TV. So like I said, it's a quick video. To a lot of people, it won't be appealing whatsoever. But I'm always interested to see what you think about things. To me, I don't think they needed this section, especially if it's only showing Pluto TV. If it added the ability to add iPlayer, ITV Hub, and all different official Amazon-supported apps into that guide, it would be much better, but it doesn't seem to do it at the moment. It might be a work in progress, it may get better in the future, or we may be able to find ways to add third-party apps to that list, which would make it an absolute game-changer. But in my opinion, I don't know about you, I think they're trying to do a bit too much. Now, when I launch up the Fire Stick Lite, this is what I'm using at the moment, it's slow as shit. It, it's really, really slow at getting started. It takes ages to start to be able to navigate around, and it's ever since this update and adding more features. So I don't know, like I said, let me know down below what you think. That's a new section that's been added. If you haven't already got it, do wait, and it will be rolled out to everybody on all devices eventually. But in my opinion, at the moment, absolutely dog shit and not needed right so that being said i hope you enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon Ta-da!